In this video, we're going to sketch y equals x cubed over x squared take away 1. Now, that denominator can be factorised. So we've got x cubed over x take away 1, x plus 1. OK? Right. So, first of all, vertical asymptotes are going to exist when the denominator is 0. So that's 1 and minus 1. Right, how about where it crosses the x-axis? Now, that's when the numerator is 0, which is when x is 0. So that also takes care of the y-intercept as well. So now I'm going to divide x cubed by x squared, take away 1. So I'm going to write x squared and then 0x as a placeholder, just to make sure everything matches up and lines up, and then the minus 1. So I want x cubed. So x squared and x cubed go x x times 0x is 0x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. Now, I don't want any x squared, so I'm going to have 0x squared there. So x squared to the 0x squared go equals 0. Then 0 times 0x zero is 0x. Zero then 0 times minus 1 is 0. Now, I don't want any x's, and so minus x plus 0x plus x will add up to 0x. Now, I can't divide in, so this is going to be my remainder here. Now, I don't want, um, well, I want plus 0 here, so I've got 0 there already, and so that's going to be 0. So this is my remainder. And so this is equal to x plus x over x squared take away 1. OK? So we know that we're going to have an oblique asymptote y equals x. OK. Right, next thing, I want to check whether my curve crosses the oblique asymptote. OK, so I'm going to put the x cubed over x squared take away 1 equal to x. So multiplying up by the x squared take away 1, we're getting an x cubed is equal to x cubed um, take away x. OK, so the x cubes cancel, so I get minus x equals 0, so of course x equals 0. And I could already have guessed that, because I've got the uh, origin as a point that I know that the curve goes through, and I know y equals x goes through the origin as well. OK, but you've always got to check that in case the curve uh, crosses that at any other point as well. OK, so... Next up, we need to figure out what's going on in the different regions, because we've got three separate bits. We've got uh, this bit here, we've got this bit in the middle, and this bit over to the wards the right. Now, we can kind of guess what's going to be happening here and here. Okay? Because the curve has got to tend to both of those asymptotes, the curve has got to be doing something like that, and like that. Okay? As for what's going on in the middle, that's not so obvious. Um, but there's only two possibilities. Either it's coming down from this direction through and then down that way, or it's coming down from this direction through and then down that way. OK? Because that's the only way, only things that it could be doing in order to tend to both of those asymptotes and cross through the origin. So let's just try a point. We just need to check whether it is above or below the x-axis, uh, let's say, between 0 and 1. So let's try x equals a half. So y is equal to... So we're going to have a half cubed, OK, uh, which is 1 eighth. And in the denominator, we've got 1 half squared, which is a quarter, take away 1, which is minus 3 quarters. So we've got a positive over a negative, and so it's negative. So we know we're down here. So the curve must... Oh, that's poor. Let me just try that again. Oh, 
Oh dear. The benefits of having a whiteboard. Okay, so that is what the curve must look like.